Sure, YouTube, I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and give my honest thoughts on how that Kickstarter project is being ran. Once again, this is not a review of the game itself, but actually of the Kickstarter and how it's being ran. So if you enjoy that kind of content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers this year. Almost there, climbing up. But right now, I'm very excited to be checking out the third most popular project on all of Kickstarter, and I want you to see this. Like... This, this just should show you just how dominant board games are over nearly everything else on Kickstarter. That, that most of the time, we have three of the top slick slots, if not more. But right now, we're looking at Mosaic, a story of civilization funded in under two hours. No one cares. An action selection board game where you guide an ancient civilizations from its founding to its ultimate dot, dot, dot. I hear civilization. I'm intrigued. Let's go. So I look at the main image and I see I see hexes and I see some are those minis. I think those are maybe minis. I don't know. This this main image looks cool, but I, I just feel like it get better. Like I'd love to see a price or, or the time length. That, you know, if this is supposed to be an epic meaty game, like how lengthy is the game? Can I play it solo? There's so much information that you could give me instead of oh look, it, it's going to happen. It got funded in two hours. I don't care. Uh, I always feel like this. It's just other people have ruined this for everyone. This is funded under two hours. But three hundred thousand dollars of a wowzers, a one hundred thousand dollar goal, which tells me strap in. This is going to be a whole lot of plastic in this game. I'm excited. But as always, when I go into this video, I'm thinking of three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Hopefully, they're going to convince the the backer that they can do it right now. Forbidden Games. Let's go. In mosaic, you guide an ancient civilization from its founding. Okay, that's... Your decisions will determine whether it will thrive and be remembered as the greatest civilization in history. Or falter. And be lost to the sands of time. I gotta say, the first 30 seconds was pretty hot. As someone who is a big, big fan of Civilization games, they just piqued my interest massively right there. Uh, so hopefully now we get into the mechanisms, the gameplay. I want to see all the stuff now. Let's go! Guiding your civilization there we go. making all the important decisions. Which type of leader you are. Which technologies you'll start with? Oh, oh, it's a lot. Where you'll place your starting city. Looks so good. Ooh. And which resources you will acquire? Oh, oh my gosh, that is that is beautiful. <laughs> that reminds me of uh, Civilizations, uh, Civ Six or Civ Five or any of those Civilization games, which is a good thing. I mean, that's a good thing when it's a Civilization game. How you develop the lands around your cities? Build amazing wonders. Or we'll find cities elsewhere to dominate new lands. Make the right decisions and your civilization will enjoy golden ages and achieve great milestones. This sounds exactly like Civilization 6. Like, to a T. I don't know if I like that yet or not. That's very interesting. I keep waiting for the. Uh, I keep waiting for them to be like, but here's something different. Your decisions will create the mosaic of your unique civilization, and determine whether your civilization stands the test of the ages. I'm gonna go back real quick. Oh, so there's diff the different ways to score points. Okay. And determine whether your civilization stands the test of the ages or is forgotten forever. I feel like you already said that. <laughs> Mosaic. Okay, so I, I honestly, I like the first 30 seconds and then I like the next minute as well, but I almost feel like it would have just been slightly better if we could have just combined all that stuff together. Because, like, let's be quite frank, the 30 seconds... And it could have very easily, the artwork could have just been interweaved in with everything. I feel like I feel like that was just a bit too long there. But let me know what you think. 
So I can see that it's a, a larger size box. I like that. I'm getting a sense of scale for the box already. Because you'd be surprised. Look, go look at my first or Castle Panic, the deluxe edition right now. I, I I went through that whole Kickstarter. I had no idea. Like, what size box is this? This I kind of got a feel here. This is good. It's a big box. Okay. Okay. What is? <laughs> okay. So the video is is okay. It's okay video. Forbidden Games presents Mosaic, a story. So, as always, let's make sure. Uh, so, the do I want it is, yeah, I think, maybe. I, I, I need to see more here. I need to see more, I do believe, because I don't know the time length. I don't know I don't know enough about the game right now. So, we got Mr. B Games as a consultant. So, the customer service, we got two people, potentially, that should be in the customer service. Uh, all right. And then we go right here, and we check out their last few games to see if they have anything pending. I had a brain fart there for a second. Do apologize. So Lizard Wizard, uh, don't miss the Dungeon Party. I know Raccoon. So which one of these are out and which ones are not? So let's check out. Is Lizard Wizard still pending? So pre-order here. Let's check out the updates. Backer discount. Lizard Wizard coins. So I'm going to guess this. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm going to guess this is saying, hey, if you back the next project, you're going to get a slight discount on it. Why Why hide it? Why not get me excited to see that you do things like that? I don't know. It just seems weird. Lizard Wizard update, wooden pieces, more Lizard Wizard content. Is it in production? When is it coming out? Is it out yet? But either way, I see February, I see March, I see March, I see March. So they're staying up to date here. I don't have any issues here, but I don't believe this one is out just yet. Uh, thanks for this. this is one of my most anticipated. Yeah, so this one is not out yet. So they have one game pending so far. Let's check out number two, Dungeon Party. See, is Dungeon Party pending? Updates. Coin samples galore. Samples, that means no. Dungeon Party backer discount. So once again, why hide it? I don't get it. It makes it... it just having that eyeball there just makes it look shadier than it probably is. So two things pending. So we'll have three games uh, pending so far. How much are we going? Raccoon Tacoon, the Fat Cat expansion. Is this out? Fat Cat is closed. Contact info inside. Uh, thanks for the support. They haven't posted anything since October 9th, 2020? Oh, okay, because that's everything. Okay, everybody's got everything, so that's why. Okay, so that one is done, right? Right? Where can I find the French rules? Uh, as this campaign is right now, we'll be monitoring less and less of it. So yeah, they did it. So they have, they would have four games pending. I don't think that's terrible, but that is something that you do need to know. But anywho... They've made games, so the can you do it is a check mark. Yes, they're not a first timer here. They know how to do the manufacturing, all that sort of stuff. And uh, Glenn Drover is actually a pretty big name. I'm surprised they're not spotlighting that a little bit more. He has like three, four, maybe five games in the Board Game Geek Top 1000, which is insanely impressive. Now, that being said, he has a very hit or miss track record. He also has quite a few games that are in like the 12,000 range plus. I remember uh, I had this massive one from AEG, Glenn Frover's uh, Rebellion or something like that. And the beginning of the game was all, everything was good until you got to the ending. Then the ending was just absolute horse garbage. It was terrible. It completely ruined the game. God, that ending just pisses me off still thinking about it. It was the worst ending to a game I've ever seen in my life. Ha, huh, just, just, okay. But anywho, so very hit or miss there. But I'm still excited about it. I'm surprised they didn't mention that. So for me and games present Mosaic, a story of civilizations, an epic game of civilization building playable in two hours. Okay, so now I finally know the time link is two hours. And that's, that's a good time link. It's medium. Uh, medium leaning a little bit up. I don't have any issues with that. That sounds like a nice one to get to the game night. All right, so we got this shot right here. I'm not a big fan of this shot in particular. Uh, unless, of course, they do have the sprawling spot. Because I, because if I'm paying, you know, assuming 150, 200 bucks for this giant, massive box of plastic, which, once again, how many minis are in the game? I want to know that as well. Ooh, that board looks cool. I want to see all the components. You control the destiny of your civilization. So we got some quotes. Mosaic is hitting all the right satisfying buttons and stands on the top of the civilization game genre. This game is certainly MVM approved. That's good. Uh, civilization game genre. That gets me excited. Mosaic delivers streamlined mechanisms that are often foreign to the civilization genre. The drafting and engine building elements work seamlessly together to drive a strong starting focus as well as long-term strategies. Jesus, Dan! Ah, oh, look at Dan showing all of, all of his fancy words, which I'm going to give him an A for that quote because as a gamer and as someone who's probably going to be interested in the game, because you got to imagine, I don't feel like most people are just going to stumble into this game. This isn't going to be most people's gateway game, I don't think. 
Um, so he's he's focusing on the hardcore gamers, the people who would know what this means, the engine building. The, when it comes to Civ games, they sometimes could be very clunky. And he, so I think that's a great quote. It's honestly reminded me a lot of Terraforming Mars, and that's a good thing. Uh, the overall game is not the same as Terraforming Mars, but I felt that there was a bit of a kinship between the games. I'll say this, though. I like looking at this game a hell of a lot more than Terraforming Mars. I don't like that quote. Uh, I like the fact that they compare it to Terraforming Mars. That gets me actually excited about the game. But why? What about the game made you feel that way? Mosaic is a very sophisticated yet streamlined civilization game that delivers a promise that most civilization games do not. I don't like that quote at all. <laughs> okay. But anyway, game overview. Uh, so yeah, why don't we put this on the front? One to six players, four out of five strategy, low luck. This is great. Complexity three. Okay. This is good. I love seeing this. I want to see this more on the side of the box. And honestly, why don't we just slap that instead of that funded 24 hour garbage like this? That looks good. I want to see that standard on every single board game box released from this point forward. Can we all agree on this? Can we all agree that that right there is absolutely gorgeous? That tells me so much about a game immediately. Do it. Do it, Mr. B Games. Make this standard. What's in the box? Game boards and player boards. Okay, so now we're going to get a shot of all the components. What size is this game board? I don't know. Give me dimensions. Six player boards. Up to six players? That's hot. That's sexy. Once again, I just found out about that. How about you introduce me to the fact that it's a six-player game at the door? I feel like that's a big tactical misstep right there. Because the six-player genre is a very hard genre to hit on your typical game night. You know, I, I, I think to myself, like, what are some of my go-to six player games i got corporate america great one to go to uh trade on the tigris that's another good one to go to but once you get up to that six player count it's a lot harder to hit unless of course you want to add massive amounts of time to your game now that might be the case with this game but right now we don't know that people don't know that no one knows that so i would spotlight one to six players i think that's a very appealing thing yeah especially it's got solo god we, nobody cares you're funded in 24 hours put one to six players up there it's so much more enticing to everyone i would say right is there anyone who actually disagrees with that is like no i like to see that funded in 24 hour thing because if there is please let me know in the comments what about it tickles your fancy because now it's everywhere it means nothing anymore uh nine liter cards cool 97 technology cards all right so we're, we're up to 106 cards 143 cards 163 183 cards it's empty. I'm sad. 183 cards, and then here we go. The minis. So 10. Uh, so 10 here, 16, 22, times 3. No, no, no. Uh, 100, so what is it? City, town, and port hex tiles slash miniatures. 150. To, oh, so there's 150 miniatures in this game. I said the same thing I said to the uh, <clears throat> the people that were doing the, uh, the, the, the Terraforming Mars designers who had their game that's up right now. If you have 150 miniatures advertise that you have 150 miniatures don't bury it down here especially since these minis look pretty stinking cool now i'm not a minis elite no there's more this is there's 282 minis and i have to scroll i'm 12 minutes into this and i'm just now finding out there's 282 minis that is so much more appealing to me than funded in 24 hours like use your space better because god look at all this and then there's artwork to go with each one like these are actually going to like we're going to be building a map as we go this is going to look cool this is going to have some seriously spectacular table appeal and i can see that now that i see this but show this to me so much earlier and we're not even done okay so uh, so we're up to 282 minis plus we got these nine so we're up to <clears throat> 291 minis and then we have 60 workers. So we have 351 minis and you're not going to advertise that. Come on, man. Come on. The 351 minis. That's a stupid number. That's a stupid number. And you're not even like shouting it from the rooftops. It drives me mad. Why do people advertise the way they do sometimes? Nine wonder tiles. Cool. Nine golden age tiles. So now we're getting to the cardboard, circulated board tiles, trade good tiles, trash tiles. Lots of cool stuff. I'm enjoying scrolling through this metal coins. Ooh. Wait, why is there both? Um, that's odd. I'm going to assume one's for a deluxe edition or something. Maybe you should, like, post it there. I don't know. Wood currency token and metal coins not included in the Sphinx pledge level. Okay, that's what it is. Daily unlocks. 
Every weekday, we reveal a new additional component of the game that would improve the value and quality of the finished Kickstarter edition to make your game unique and amazing. Wow! We have some surprises planned along the way, so check back frequently to see what we include in your page or could be added to it. Once again, you know where this spectacular little bit of nugget information would should be? Higher! Why is this not in your video? Did I miss this? I remember the 30 seconds and then the one minute of redundancy and then the, the cool, like, like this little things like this. Also, oh, the six-player upgrade... What, so that's a banger. That's a spectacle. Oh, so you're letting people know day one. And yeah, that's great. Shout this from the rooftop. This, this is a six-player game with 351 miniatures that plays in two hours. And we got a watch and play video coming for you. Which you should. I say this to everybody. Especially with a game like this. Pay the money. Or if you want to go cheap, pay like three people to do it. I, just, just get videos out there. Make it so that you have at least one. If you, if you get three videos, chances are one of them is going to be good. Uh, because that's what people want with this. That's a nice warm security blanket. Solo mode. <clears throat> okay. that I like that. That's, that's good. It's good to have. It feels odd that on day one, you want to hide the fact that this is a solo game. When in fact... You should be shouting that from the freaking rooftops. Like, this seems so obvious to me. Let me know what I'm missing here. If, if you disagree in the comments below, like, if it's a one-player game, go look at, what is it? Uh, I was just looking at it yesterday. Uh, the Hoplomachus. It's raised like $600,000, and it's a solo-only game. Now, also, they're also asking, adding a remastered version of a game that a lot of people want. But still, solo is hot, baby. Why are you hiding solo until day two? That blows my mind. Weekday 2.5. Special bonus unlock. More efficient player board design. That's great. Bigger components like it. Extra large box. It's still empty. I'm so disappointed. Uh, so here's the bottom line here. Why, why? I understand that they wanted to have these things. But hiding them, I don't know. And here's the other thing. I would like these to be higher. I feel like these should be at the very top because you're already funded. It's not about... Well, your video didn't wow me as much as I would. Okay, but anywho. So we've unlocked great stuff. And it looks... Like, these are all bangers, by the way. Like, these are all spectacular things. Can they keep up this momentum? Like, is every single weekday going to be an absolutely spectacular uh, stretch goal? Because these are these are three great ones. These get me excited. So what is this? Uh, four, and once again, millimeters to centimeters. I know both of you are based out of the United freaking States. Why were you using millimeters? Give me the inches as well. Half of Kickstarter is from the United States of America. Like, that's statistics. Like, that is half the people that back on Kickstarter are from the United States of America. You are also from the United States of America. Acquiesce them by letting me know the inches here. Because once again, I don't, I don't, I don't, it, just, it drives me nuts. How to play. Mosaic is an action selection game. On your turn, you'll perform one of the eight actions. Ooh, I like that. Clean, clear, this is great. I'd love to see a video. This is all good. Have we had the price yet? We haven't had the price yet. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Ah! Why do people do this? Okay. So I'm going to have to keep looking for the price. And yes, I know I could go over there. But this is your story. This is where you are going to convince me if you didn't already convince me in the video. And let's be quite frank. You didn't convince me in the video. So I need the story. Because sometimes you don't need the story. Sometimes it's like, damn, that video is so good. I'm in. Into the discussion. As soon as you see that price. But now I need to look at this. And now that I've seen all this, I'm convinced. But you know what I'm still missing? I'm missing that price. And I don't want to have to go over here. It's so impersonal. How to play. Cool. This is great. All the good stuff. Previews. We got videos. Tutorial playthroughs. This is the long one. Yeah, nobody wants this. I mean, it's good if you want to see exactly how the game is played. Let me rephrase that. If you want to learn the game, I feel like most people like the 15 to 20 condensed Rodney Smith sort of thing. Not in any means bagging on John there. Uh, Mosaic review. We got Marco. Cool. What's up, Dan? Is this the uh, how to play? No, it's the preview. 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 Final thoughts. Good stuff. What ends? Where's the preview? Where's the preview? I just want how to play. There's not a how to play. Ugh. Ooh, that disappoints me a little bit a little bit there that's what i really want to see personally but let me know what video are you most interested in? I, I feel like people are going to either want the how to play or the gameplay video so i understand why it's spotlighted kickstarter pages are like sales pitches where price is the last thing they mentioned because they want you to fall in love with it first but i disagree like if you go look at most kickstarter tabletop projects it, it's just they get to the point and, because here's the thing if your video's well done enough like, it's like, okay, we're, I'm just ready. Just hit me with that price. Now, this particular video didn't do it, but I've watched so many videos where it's like, as soon as I've done the video, it's like, oh my God, Instaback, Instaback. Uh, here we go. So we get to the price, $79. So this is without all, this is the 
premium Kickstarter edition and all applicable daily... Wait, this is the good version everybody wants? No, no, no. This is it. What is this at? This is metal coins, wood tokens, plastic wonders. Oh, so what are the wonders instead? Uh, okay. And now I'm not... I'm Now I'm really hating how this lay, is laid out even more because I have questions. I have questions. I want to scroll up and I want to see what these components are so I can see if this is a $70 extra value. And that's why it's so good to have pictures of all the stuff near the prices Okay, oh, hey, oh, no, these are add-ons. Okay, by, oh, by pledging the Colossus level or including add-ons two to four. Oh, okay, so it's right here. I'm a noob. Keep reading. Shut your mouth. Let's go. <laughs> Temple of Artemis City. So these are not included in that. Now, are they listed in the original components? That's what I want to, I want to double check right here. So when, so these, they were listed. So we get tiles instead which, you know, it is still pretty cool. Okay. Miniatures not included. And, and okay, so this is why I wasn't quite sure. Because you put it in teeny, 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 tiny. You know what? How about we highlight that? How about we honest and up front here and say, oh, by the way, $79 version, if you just want to play this awesome game, you know, you, you get that version of the minute. Like, why, why are we making these so tiny? And they're so tiny, but then they're also behind, like, a print that's kind of hard to read. Like, it's just, it's like brownish there. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, but anywho, that's just a personal thing. Let's take a look. Uh, so we're getting to the add-on. So this is what you get. Difference in the $70 version. Let's see. Will I be so as always, I have a rating scale. A zero, one, or two. Zero means this Kickstarter is not worth your time. Get the hell out of here. I don't give those too often. Uh, a one, which means back it for a dollar. Honestly, go watch that hour and seven minute video. Wait, that wasn't a full gameplay. An hour and seven minutes. I thought this was a two-hour game. I'm so confused. I want to see a six-player gameplay. Okay, but anywho, anywho, let's take a look. 70 extra dollars value. So we're getting one, two, three, four, five minis? No. We're getting nine minis, right? We're getting more. Here's a closer look at some of the sculpts. You'll receive 300, oh, 351. That's it. That's it. Okay. So this is the base game. Pretty much no plastic at all. This is the 351 miniatures version of the game. Got it. I'll be very interested to see which one is more popular. I'm very intrigued here. And then the coins, oh my goodness, those coins are hot. Those coins are hot. So uh, this is where you get component upgrades as well. Add-on set, plastic miniatures, nine unique wonders. Okay. You can also buy them a la carte. It's very interesting. The limited availability sale. And for bringing games, we usually have a special offer on our entire product line to those who visit us. Oh, so is it $70? I mean, that's a hard one to say right there, you know, because it's there's they're adding nothing to the game. Nothing in any way, shape, or form is going to change from this game to that game. And so then it becomes, do you want a gigantic, massive box of this? And I, I, I you know what, I'm going to give this one a one. And I'm going to say, well, you know, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Because I'm very intrigued here. I feel like this one really boils down to go watch that video. Go watch one of those gameplay videos and see if it's a game for you. Oh, so they're offering their other games at discounted prices. Cool. I like that. I got no issues with that. Great. Uh, I'm sure somebody does. They're like, hey, you know what? I went back to Kickstarter, blah, blah, blah. But 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 overall, like as a, as a consumer, I love this. So, oh, I missed out on Pirates. I played at my buddy's house. I, I want everything with that. I can get all this for $49. I like it. All right, game rules. Here we go. Click the image below to access a work in progress. Some where what image below? What? Click the image below. So you have game rules, and you tell me to click the image. Some content. And image. Okay, what else? All right, how many pages are we going with? Twenty pages. All right, looks good. Where's the setup? Player boards. Very in depth. Where's the setup? Where's the setup? Okay, we talked about it a lot before we get the setup. I hate when they do that. Uh, ooh. Ooh, where's the picture? Where's the picture of everything set up? Where's the picture of everything set up? Okay, so it's missing pictures so far. So I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say, I is there no pictures at all? Okay, there's no pictures in any way, shape, or form. So I can't say anything about this rule book. Uh, I, I Hopefully they add a lot of pictures to that, though. How to play Mosaic, Retailer Pledge, 
Uh, includes a case of six Kickstarter editions. Okay, 447, the pledge, language and printers. So you're telling me all the stuff, give me the weeds, good stuff, social, shipping. Here we go, because we always bury this at the bottom. We wouldn't want to put it right next to the 79 to 149, because it'd be so hard just to splunk this section up there. It drives me nuts. Wow, that's a really good shipping price. $14 for what's going to be a very large box, and $9. 16 to the UK, EU, 16 to... These are great shipping prices. Uh, so EU, UK, Canada, China, Japan. Yeah, top-notch. Hats off on the shipping. So, do I want it? Yeah, I, I'd say you convinced me enough, especially... Like, it looks really cool. It looks like you're actually going to be creating a map, which is, is a neat thing. Uh, can you do it? Yes. Very hit-or-miss track record with the games, which makes me really come down to the point of what my recommendation on this one is watch one of those hour-long videos, watch people play the game, see if it's a game for you, and if it is, feel comfortable knowing that, that they're going to be able to do it. It's probably going to be a pretty good game. Like I said, he's got like four or five games in the top 1,000. That is very, very impressive, you know. Uh, how do the add-ons work? If I order the Spanx, what will I get? Can you tell us more about the solo mode? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, we are actually at the very beginning of the process of onboarding David. We intend to be further along at this point, but the game is so large with so many assets that it took longer than expected to get everything finalized on the campaign page, and we didn't perfect the player boards, which we are now doing. This was entirely our challenge, not David's. Wow, we are really loquacious in this. I don't, I don't mind it, but it's, it's very honest. Uh, but now that we're done, we'll be working with him over the coming weeks to get the basics of the solo design frame and agreed to. With that, you can count on David does great solo modes. Mosaic's action selection itself. So here, if David does great solo modes, this is where I might mention what David has done. Uh, I feel like that's just a smart play there. Stay tuned through this campaign. We will update as we know more. So yeah, the solo mode is not a fruit on the vine yet. That's a little bit concerning. That's 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 a little bit concerning. It, it feels like it's just kind of tacked on. And ah, this is one of the few times where I love transparency. Maybe a bit too much transparency. Maybe a bit too much there. Uh, that, uh, <laughs> but, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. I, I, please let me know. What do you think about this sort of blunt honesty? Them just saying, you know what? We haven't put much thought in the solo mode. But we're going to get on that. Like, what do you think about that? I'm very curious. Uh, because, you know, game design is, is hard, right? And what's their timeline? When is this thing going to ship out? I didn't even look at that. I didn't even look at that. Their shipping section wowed me so much. Oh, oh, so here we go. 79, so 318 people just want the regular game. And then 1636 want that giant massive box of plastic. Okay. There you go. There's your answer right there. Um, interesting. So, yeah. Uh, let's check out the updates. See how the updates are. 48 hour update reveal, so we got 22 comments, 72 comments, 27 comments, 11 comments. So whoever's doing your customer service is doing a great job in the updates. And uh, pat them on the back, because I look at these a lot, and you see a lot of projects that are, some that are even bigger than this, and they have like three, four, five comments. And it's like, you're not engaging people. Good morning all, or evening for some, thank you for the amazing support. So they're, the, oh, this is where they're unveiling the daily, the large box. Thanks for your support, and tell your friends. This is... Extra, extra, extra large box is something that other companies may have recently charged their fans to get. It's a very robust, high-quality box that accommodates the truly a massive amount of content. Is this, is this like a Gloomhaven-sized box? Uh, like, to be quite honest, I feel like that is a misstep as well. Not mentioning to me what other game comes in that size box. And I know mentioning competition, blah, 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 blah. But if you say this is a Gloomhaven-sized box, I feel like most gamers are like, oh, I've seen that box. That's a damn big box. Okay, we're not playing around here. <laughs> hey, uh, I think that honesty is great, but then I don't care about solo modes in most games. And that that is a fair point as well. Like, if you really, if you knew that you were most likely going to be playing this primarily solo, I especially don't think it's that appealing to you when they say, yeah, we're going to get on it. We'll, we'll, we'll get that wrapped up. <laughs> like, I don't know. Size of the Colossus box. Plan to fit in a cube storage size spaces. Uh, extra, extra. Oh, wait. You don't even tell me? For the Colossus pledge levels to fit everything. What the hell? Why would you not tell me the size of the... So, literally, this is for the extra large box. I am so confused. 
why you would do that. So long as there's room for sleeve cards and everything else is officially sorted, even if you're not 100% sure, give us estimates on what size the box is going to be, you know? Please also, uh, so as long as there's a room for sleeve cards and everything else is officially stored, the box seems fine. Please also make the player boards dual layer recess. Check the reveal next Tuesday. Winky face. So that's awesome. And I do see some good customer service here. Awesome. We're all glad to support this amazing product. Is there a possibility of cutting uh, the goals to help with? Yeah. So the green rectangles, great customer service. Top notch. Awesome. Good updates. Good comments. They're not ending with questions either. Well, you know, here's the thing. <laughs> Most of these comments, I know I think that's a good update. That's a solid update. Great. And then let's check out the comments. Okay, the game comes in a box. Next reveal, please. <laughs> good for you, Sage. So and that that tells you how underwhelming your update was. Now, I personally think it is a banger of an update if you combine it with the knowledge of like, and yeah, this isn't gonna bump up your ten dollars shipping. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Like once again, I I do not feel like it was smart to not advertise the fact that it's one to six players, the fact that it has three hundred and fifty one miniatures, the fact that it has really good shipping, the fact that it's gonna come in this massive box and it has really good shipping. Like all these things are littered into the Kickstarter page, but you're not spotlighting them. It drives me nuts. My two cents. I know plastic minis are the thing to do with Kickstarter, so seemingly what backers want, but. Is all the plastic really warranted in such a game? No, 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 and of course it's not, Gregory. You are 100% correct, and we know this because there's actually another version of this game that only costs $79 that doesn't have any of it. Firstly, if you really must do the plastic mini thing, please consider a general supply of gray colored plastic cities, towns, etc. that snapped into players' colored bases instead of each player getting their own heaps of plastic minis. That's actually a cool idea. Secondly, think about shrinking the military units. The military aspect of the game doesn't seem to be much greater when compared to other avenues of building up your other ship. So this is someone who sat down and watched one of those videos. And, okay. Okay. Interesting. I know you're under pressure to alter the player boards, and it's commendable that you take backer suggestions seriously. I also realize it's possible to please everyone, so I hope you don't mind my suggestion for what it's worth. Um, so... People are blasting them, I guess, because of the player boards. Interesting. Which is maybe why they revealed, hey, wink, wink, nod, nod, come back next Tuesday. And once again, this is really interesting because we're starting to see some of the darker sides of Daily Unlocks. Because there's a good chance that there's people complaining about things and they don't even know that it's already going to be in the game. But you created that problem by going with the daily unlock thing. And it's just so fun to me. Like, there's no perfect system, and I love seeing the fallout from the different systems. Uh, which is it's cool. I know you're under pressure. Okay, so, great news reveal. What will the dimensions of the Colossus Pledge Box be? Yeah, how do you not put that there? Come on! Uh, we don't know exactly until the factory engineers that insert to fit everything. It will be less than 50x... 57 inches. So, then did you say, we believe it will be in the ballpark of 52 to 57 inches long? Like, like you're going to be super transparently honest about the solo mode not even being started pretty much, but then, like, when, like, when it comes to actually something useful to most people, like, what, what size is the box? Uh, it's just, it blows my mind. Okay, I'm fully on board and excited for this game. Is the update of January 22 really obtainable? That will only be six to seven months away, which is fantastic. So, this game is coming out in January 2022, and you're telling me the solo hasn't really been started yet. I want to go back and I want to make sure I'm not misunderstanding something here. We're actually at the very beginning of the process of onboarding David. We intend to be further along this point. The game is so large. Uh, not David, but now that we are done, we will be working with him over the coming weeks to get the basics of the solo design framed and agreed to. So, over the coming weeks... They're going to get the basics of what kind of solo game this will actually be. That doesn't mean we're working on the gameplay and the mechanisms and the fine tuning and the playtesting. Like, oh my gosh, I feel like this is too much transparency here. <laughs> uh, that just looks bad, in my personal opinion. Like, as, a, as someone who has played a lot of crap solo games, like, that concerns me and then there's a six to seven month time frame which also makes me wonder then potentially is the solo rule booklet going to be something on the side or is it going to be included in the rules hey ooh, ooh, it's not good these are these are these are big questions all right uh honestly we are targeted december what what this what how are you targeting december you haven't even started on the damn solo mode 
I can't unsee it. I can't unsee what I'm seeing. I'm sorry. That comment made me leap for joy. December would be even more awesome, but I would gladly take January. I'm going to guess Jalen is not a solo gamer. Please make sure the player board's duel later says, absolutely, check the unlocks next Tuesday. So yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of people. Your player boards suck. Your player boards suck. Your player boards suck. They're like, damn, sorry. We, we, we hid it from you. Why? Why'd you hide it? Well, because we didn't want to go stretch goals and we wanted to make sure you were still coming back to the Kickstarter page, which... I agree with. Uh, why is the game called Mosaic? Don't see any related decoration. Wink. <laughs> Hello, I would like to order an extra copy for how can I do this? Uh, okay, cool. I've emailed, waiting for reply. Thank you. He's on an airplane today, so we got people. But there's good customer service here. Good customer service. So in the end, I will give this a one. I can't go two on the whale just because of how inconsistent Glenn's games have been. You know, they can be hit, they can be missed. And let's be quite frank, you don't want to be on the end of a $150 miss because the Galactic Rebellion one, that was another $150 miss. It was a massive box. It was like one of those ones that was like this thick, this wide, uh, huge, full of plastic minis. But if this is one of those hits and this is one of those ones that's in the top 1,000, you know, that'd be a really cool thing to have. To have this amazingly crazy special first edition that uh, probably probably won't be reprinted. But hey, maybe it will be. Who knows? But anywho, that is Mosaic, a story of civilization. I'm going to give it a one. I would recommend go watch one of those videos. See if it's a game for you and for your group. And then make that decision. But it looks cool. And you know it's probably going to happen. But if you enjoy what I'm doing, please be sure to let me know in the comments below what you agreed with and what you disagreed with. Because that, that, that tickles those YouTube algorithms, which I always like to talk about. But then at the same time, it really does kind of give me more of a feel for the different perspectives when it comes to Kickstarter. Because, you know, everybody shops differently. And it's fun to see that stuff. Uh, but as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye.